What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to copy a database from one computer to another using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and Microsoft SQL Server for the database. So that's I'll leave the link for both of those in the description if you want to download them. There's developer versions for both that are free and that's what I'm using here. So everything I'm using is free. I got my database and I want to copy it from one computer to another. So what do I do? What I'm going to do is create a backup of this database on this computer, which is gonna create it a backup file. So it'll be like a .bak file. You can copy this file and then move it over to your other computer and then do a database restore. This works especially well if the database doesn't have a lot of data in it, because it's gonna copy it with all the data in it as well. And yeah, that'll be the fastest way to do it. It's very simple. I've done it myself, even on work computers, transferring databases from work computer to another work computer. Yeah, I like doing it this way, it's simple. So let me walk you through it. Um, so I have my database here, I got some tables. I wanna copy this over to another computer. So you just right click and then hover over tasks and then do backup. So you're gonna see it has a path by default. You can leave it like this, backup or database by database, that's what it's called. Make sure you have the name selected. Um, backup type full so you can actually do a couple other types I'm gonna leave it at full right now um, backup component database backup to disk that means it's gonna save it as a file on your computer we want this but we want this file path because it's actually a little weird it's like in the uh, program files so an easy way to copy it out you just click add it's gonna show it to you by default here so just do control a to get the whole URL to control C to copy it. Open up your file explorer and then do control V to paste it in at the top up here. Yes, you can continue to get permanent access to this folder. You'll see it's empty right now, but that's cool. Just leave it open because we haven't actually backed it up. So cancel. Okay, let's back up this database. The backup of my database has been completed successfully. That's great. And now, if I refresh, we have my database.back. Okay, so let's say I have another computer. I'm still on the same computer right now, but I can't like record two different computers. Well, I could, but it's too much effort, right? So I'm gonna copy this and pretend like I'm moving it to my other computer. Okay, paste. This is where my backup folders are. So I recommend you paste it in the same directory in your new computer within the backup folders. Cause when you do a database restore, it's gonna look in this folder by default. So just, you know, same directory that you have up here um, within the backup folder, paste the backup database document or the backup database file in that, in the new computer. Okay, so it's in the new computer, you have the file. Now you wanna import or restore a database. So right click on your server up here when you're logged in and then you can do, or sorry, actually right click on databases and then you can do restore database right here and then you can select a source because it'll find the database backup it'll be looking in the database backup folder but you can also uh, search for the file right here so for example origin file name you can see this is the directory it's looking for. Oh, sorry, this is logs. Oh, this is where it's storing the data. That's right, okay. That's the file for storing the data, I think. .mdf. Okay, so I made a jump cut here. Um, I've saved the backup file in my file explorer here. Let's say I've copied it over to my new computer. 
I do recommend you put it up here in the top in the same directory that you basically have on your old computer. So put it in like program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MSSQL 16, whatever version your SQL Server is. My MS SQL backup. So make sure you put it in the backup folder. You can copy that out and paste it when you do like the uh, backup again, if you ever wanna get the directory for this. But I also will paste mine in the description of the video if you wanna copy it and then paste it up here in your file explorer. Maybe you have the same version. So anyways, you have the backup folder. It's on your new computer. You've put it in the same directory, right? I'm going to delete this database now and pretend like I'm on my new computer and we are going to restore it. So I'm logged into my SQL server. I want to restore a database. So I'm gonna right click to restore database you'll see there's nothing here. That's why you wanna click on device because it's gonna look on your device for a file. So click on the three dots, click on add. And this is where putting it in the same directory helps because by default, it's gonna open Microsoft SQL Server and then it's gonna open backup. So that's why I have my backup folder or my backup file right there in this folder. So I can just click okay. It's gonna look at that backup file now Click OK again. We'll see that it'll restore the database. Um, it is a full restore like I was seeing before. And here's the total size. But anyways, let's just keep going with this. Click OK. And just like that, I would have transferred the database from one computer to my other one, all with that .bak file. So. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.